my god. He's got the voice of an angel. It's breathtaking. Four years ago, 2009, when you first set out on this journey with the first Hangover movie, did you ever in your wildest dreams think, you know, four years later that we would be sat here now celebrating The Hangover Part 3? No, I mean, I mean, The Hangover, I don't know, I mean, I owe my whole career and my success to The Hangover franchise, and so I, I just in no way envisioned that this would be this impactful. I knew it was... I remember while we were filming the first one, I was like, I told my wife, this is like the funniest thing we've ever, I've ever done. But I, you know, I hope people see it. So that's what I kept thinking. And and um, and boy, did they see it. I mean, it really just, uh, like I said, it, it just it just gave me a career. It just, um, I, it's my favorite people I've ever worked with. And, um, you know, they're, they're, they're all like family to me. I mean, it just, I don't know. I, it, the, the amount of love I have for them you know, uh, in entertainment is really just un unparalleled. And Mr. Chow in particular seems to have struck a chord with audiences. What is it about this character you think that people just can't get enough of? I think he's uninhibited. He's kind of your id, you know, just kind of saying the most, kind of like the most subconscious thoughts, most likely evil subconscious thoughts, but he, but he uh, he's also loves life too. He's also kind of a purist, you know, he's just looking to have a good time. So. So, so there's a bit of, um, I don't know, there's a bit of, uh, he's a bit of a devilish kind of fun that he brings to the, to the franchise. And uh, for me, it's the, my favorite character I've ever played. Well, I was just gonna say, I got this strange email the other day. I wasn't sure what it meant, but now I think it might be from Chow. Fatty, feels good to be out. I'm close by, tell no one, I'll be in touch. Chow. This says Chow. How did you not know this was from Chow? At the time, I thought it was Chow like goodbye. You know, like Chow, Riva uh, The Hangover Part 3, he is almost front and center. He's almost on leading man duty this time around. You have a heck of a lot to do in this one. Yeah, it's the biggest part I've ever had as an actor, and it's the best thing I've ever done. And to do all the stunt work that I did, I mean, at the top of the movie, I'm doing like a 30 foot free fall drop myself, and, you know, Chow's parachuting all through Vegas. It really is. Uh, I don't know. To me, it, it, it's so humbling to see that you know, I, you know, Chow really started off as a small character in the first movie, and I mean, due to the love that Chow received from both Todd Phillips, the director, and the public, you know, to to give Chow an expanded role in the third one is just an embarrassment of riches. One of the other things that we love about DVDs, Blu-rays, are the extra features. Is there any other extra features you can tell us to look out for with uh, The Hangover Part 3 that you know of? That I mean, the main thing is a documentary of this, because it, it, it's, I believe it's like uh, over an hour long of, of, of just uh, amazing anecdotes, things I didn't know about, about The Hangover Trilogy, how it was made, how it came about. So it was so informative even to me, and um, it, 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 it's great. It, it, it really just, everything you want to know about The Hangover is, is in that, and, and even pieces of info that I didn't know. You ready to do this? Yeah. We can't be friends anymore. When we get together, bad things happen and people get hurt. Yeah, that's the point. It's funny.